Okay, so hello everybody. For this week's ep vlog, we had to watch the movie Jaws, which was a very interesting movie. Um, I, was, this is the last week of club, the last vlog we'll be doing before the final essay we did video. So, the, um, the movie Jaws was uh, made in the year 1975, and it was made on a budget of nine million dollars, which is pretty good money back back then. Considering that adjusted for inflation, that's like that's a good amount of money. So when it comes to the movie Jaws, I had seen bits and pieces, like short clips of the movie, but I'd never seen the whole thing. So this week, we're, so since this week we had to watch it, that gave me a chance to watch the whole movie, which I enjoyed watching. And we had to talk about some of the historical context and the production context of this movie. So to begin with the production context of this movie. The movie Jaws went way over the budget, and the production ran way behind schedule. It was supposed to be released earlier than it actually was, but then they, they kept on having trouble with money problems. And I knew originally that the movie already had to, had to use mechanical or fake sharks in order to get the scenes that they needed to from the um, in the ocean. And so they really had trouble with these mechanical sharks that were they were using because they frequently broke down easily which caused the movie to be delayed when they could actually get the movie released and it costed them a lot of money just to keep on repairing these sharks so they could work and and go for the movie which is um which is interesting because um science fiction films like back then technology wasn't the greatest and science fiction films were definitely tricky to make because when depending on the mechanics and the t that you had in the movie and like the equipment you had it could depend on how long it would take to make the movie so i, I wasn't honestly surprised that this movie had a um had a was delayed because of the sharks breaking down because you know the like i said the technology wasn't great back then and they had to use these monster sized sharks that they had to make and, and create and they really just they had a really few time they didn't have enough time to test them out so they really just tested them while they were making the movie which was a very painstaking process for this movie and when it comes to the historical context of the movie um jaws is not based on a true story um the new Jer um even though um which a lot of people think it is when it's because they think it's based on the 19 uh, 16 book by um, Peter Benchelay and um, mentioned in his novel but the real movie idea and the, like the inspiration for the movie became from the New Jersey shark attack um, in in the year 1916 which is the real main reason for this movie um, this it was the re main reason for this movie to be made because they got inspired by the shark attack and the New Jersey residents engaged in active warfare with a shark that killed four people. They were so frustrated with this shark that was killing people on the New Jersey coast that they wanted to actually try to kill the thing, and which inspired the crew to go out there and make a movie about them actually killing this massive shark that is basically a great white shark or megalodon looking creature that they made and made a really good job of making it look real um, which is a which is which is what's one thing I like about these science fiction movies is how they make these animations look or these um, like fake things look actually real and it makes you think that they actually had a shark that size which is always interesting to me but th that's a little bit of the historical context and the production context of this movie and um, that is all we have for this week and I will see everybody next week we will go over the video for uh, the, the, the film history essay to end the semester. So I'll see everybody next week when that comes out.